Good morning. It's Friday, September 22nd. And you're watching KGTR! And here's Carolyn and Laura with the story. That's right, Rachel. There are now 441 baby gators in the swamp. That's nearly double last year's freshman class. Why so many freshmen? Carolyn and I went around the school to find the answers. I'm here with Mr. Busk, the mom of all freshman gators. Mr. Busk, why is the freshman class so big this year? Well, we do have a, a little over 100 more freshmen than we had last year. Um, and it's probably for many reasons. We had a lot of success last year in sports. We were the state champions for baseball, the district champs for football, and went to the second round in the playoffs. That's a big drawing card. And also, we have, um, we're have we ranked in the top 10% of the nation for ACT scores, so we also have the academics to back it up. And we also have a student body that, uh, that promotes our school. What is Shreve doing to attract students to the swamp? We visit all of the middle schools. Um, public and private and talk to them. We also have our gator gatherings usually in November and December at different houses. Um, we send out flyers to anybody that lives in our district or that would be eligible for our magnet program and we also do tours of the school and we have eighth grade open house in January. Every school has its own unique personality. What is it about Shreve's students that make middle schoolers want to join them in the swamp? Well our students are very caring and very helpful to the younger students. And I think they feel comfortable when they get here and they want to be like the 11th and 12th graders. They want to be a varsity cheerleader. They want to be on dance line. They want to play football. So they have good role models to look up to. Thanks, Mr. You're welcome. Tyler, what middle school did you come from? I came from St. Joseph Middle School. And why did you choose Shree? Because they have a really good baseball team that won a state championship. What do you like about Shreve so far? Just like the people here are nice and baseball is really cool. My name is Brittany Pierre. I came from Middle Magnet and I decided to come to Shreve because of all of my friends. I love friends and we all go together and yeah. My name is LaKendra Bell and I came from Middle Magnet also. I came to Shreve because of the Gator High Line. Ditto. What middle school did you go to? Caddo Middle Magnet. And why did you choose Captain Tree? Because it's the only school in Caddo Parish that has a competition cheerleading squad. So what do you like about Shreve so far? Um, I got to meet a lot of people because most of my friends went to Bird, and so I got to meet a whole lot of new friends. Hey, we went to your job middle school and we came to Captain Shreve because... We want to be varsity cheerleaders here one day. We're really excited. And we also want to give a shout out. We love you, Boogie. Good luck tonight. <laughs> what middle school did you come from? I went to Catamount Magnet. And why did you choose Shreve? Um, because they won, the football team won district champs last year, and that drew a lot of people here. And also I played baseball, so them winning the state championship, that helped out. And uh, this year for freshman class, there are a lot of people on the freshman team. And so far, we're doing pretty well. And uh, what do you like about Shreve so far? Um, just the people coming into it. I uh, didn't know too many people, but through uh, sports and just regular classes, I've met a lot of new people. I'm here with Coach May, the head freshman football coach. Do you think last year's success had anything to do with this year's influx? Well, you know, when you win a district championship in football, it always helps. Uh, um, I think when we won the district championship in football and then topped it off with the state championship in baseball, you know, it showed kids around Shreveport that this is a good place to come to school, not only uh, academically, but athletically. Coach May, is this year's freshman football team bigger than last year's? Well, right now we've got about 53 guys out for football. Uh, we could probably have more, but at this, this late in the game, it's probably better to stick with what we have. Um, 53 is a pretty large number. It's, more, it's the most since I've been at Captain Tree. Um, I don't know about last year. I think last year they had about 35. So I guess if you go from 53 to 35, it is, it is an increase. What are your predictions for this year's freshman football season? 
Well, right now we're three and zero. We've won every game we played. We won our scrimmage and our and our jamboree. So uh, actually, we're five and zero. Um, this group can go as far as they want to go. We're, they're very talented. Probably the most talented bunch since I've been at Shree. Um, we've got a good group of guys uh, at, at our skill positions. Um, we've got very lucky this year and got a large group of kids from Middle Magnet. And I think that uh, that had to have been the difference. You know, we always get the, the kids from Uri, but, the, but getting a large group from Magnet this year really helped us. Uh, they, they, have, they have the potential to go undefeated. What middle school did you go to? Um, Ferris Baptist. And why did you choose to come from a private school to a public school? Because like all the people, it was like so small at Ferris Baptist. Like my graduating class was only 30 people and like, but Shreve's not too big, but it's not too small. And what do you like about Shreve so far? Um, I liked all the people. They're really nice and I've met a lot of new people. Uh, what middle school did you come from? Gary Drive. Why did you choose to come to Shreve? Um, I chose to come to Shree because they have a really big student council and they're really active in the state, regional, and national conventions. What do you like about Shree so far? I like all the new people I've met and the teachers. They really seem to care about our education. We're the last to sit down the around the baby gators! As you can tell, the freshman class is made up of a variety of students from all over Shreveport and we're proud to have y'all in the swamp. Upperclassmen, the halls may be more crowded, but at least you know Shreve will be in good hands after you graduate. Back to you, Rachel and Logan. Last Friday night, the Gators saddled up to play the Southwood Cowboys at Independence Stadium. Here's some clips starring your awesome Gator football team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Independence Stadium.
This week, we want to recognize one of those talented Gators. And here's Andy and John with KGTR's Athlete of the Week. Hey Gators, I'm Andy Mayberry. I'm John Michael Miller. And we're here to commend one of our Gator football players on a job well done in the past two games this year. We would like to congratulate varsity quarterback Mark Kimball. He's been selected as KGTR's Athlete of the Week. Mark, freshman year you played linebacker and sophomore year you didn't play at all. What made you come back as a junior to play quarterback? Uh, well, I missed football a lot and I took a year off sophomore year. And when Callantone left, uh, I knew the quarterback was open, so Coach Toller wanted me to try it and I came back and it's been fun so far. I'm here with the quarterback coach, Coach Tolliver. Coach Tolliver, what do you think about Mark Kimball's performance? Well, I think Mark is uh, hes doing an outstanding job of running the system, running his football team. Uh, right now, he's doing the things he's coached to do, and he's doing them pretty well. Uh, you know, Greg's is out there competing every day, trying to get better, and he's helping Kimball to everything that he can. But uh, right now, Kimball's on a little bit of a roll, and he's doing the things he's coached to do, and if he continues to do that, we'll continue to do well. Mark, what's your favorite part about Gator football? Uh, I guess the Friday nights, uh, just getting ready for the games and everybody supporting us and stuff, and it's just it's a good feeling. It's pretty fun. Mark would like to present you with a certificate. Congratulations on being KGTR's Athlete of the Week. Thanks, man. It's, it's cool. Yeah. As you can see, Mark's a great guy on and off the field. He's really stepped up. And if he keeps up the good work, there's no doubt the Gators will have an awesome football season. Congratulations again to Mark Kimball, KGTR's Athlete of the Week. Back to you, Rachel and Logan. And that's all we have for this week. We hope you enjoyed the second edition of KGTR. See you later, Gators. Gators. <laughs> we should roll around in the grass. Yeah. Except we would get itchy. Here at the swamp, we have some outstanding athletes. Oh, uh, that's all you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. I was, I was, I was expecting so much more. I'm sorry.